Hi, I'm Dr. Barbara Becker Holstein, positive psychologist, and I'm back again to talk to you. Today, we're going to talk about loneliness. Loneliness is one of the saddest and most upsetting experiences we can have. It makes us feel very bad inside and very lonely, and it is not pleasant. It can come out of the blue. For example, here's what happened to me a long time ago. My parents had given me a trip to Europe the end of my junior year of college, and I went with a girlfriend, and we were having a great time. However, in the shadows of travel lurked an illness that my girlfriend got, and she was so sick she had to go home. So now, at 20, I'm left alone in Europe not knowing anybody, not speaking any other language well, even though I spoke French for four years or six years, I really didn't have it down. And I'm alone. I went into panic and sadness. And then what happened was I began to come out of panic and sadness. I soon began to see that I could survive, I could talk to strangers, I could find my way around Copenhagen where I happened to be. I was literally almost penniless and I could figure out how to get in touch with a bank that got in touch with another bank that got in touch with my father who fortunately saved me with some pocket money for the last three weeks of the trip and so on. I got myself to Sweden for a day, having met a fellow somewhere along the way, and we took a boat together and never saw him again in my life, but when he had a great day. And uh, I got myself to London, where I was to finish the trip, and that involved finding the right train, an overnight train, and uh, going as a stranger to a hostel, and I even got myself back to Scotland where I had tickets for the theater and um, enjoyed some shows and stayed at a stranger's house for three nights. Well, if I could do all this, then I can only assure you that loneliness and sudden despair are things that are not solid. They're like the seven veils, they can be there, and then just as suddenly, one by one, you can rip them off. However, there is another side to this that I want to bring up today, and that is that many, many young women have suffered during the pandemic tremendously from loneliness and disruption of their lives. For many adolescents, school was closed for many, many months, and then there was virtual learning and proms and all sorts of parties and having a first boyfriend, all sorts of things that might have happened just didn't happen. And many young women today are reflecting all of that with some difficulties around anxiety and depression and feeling lonely. I believe as a psychologist, it is our job to help these girls. We don't wanna lose a generation of talented young ladies. We can all help. It's not that hard. I'm going to give you some suggestions. These suggestions will help you see how loneliness can just disappear and how easy it is to help someone find her way into a much more fulfilling life that is full of opportunities. Now it's our job, wherever we are and whoever we are, to try to open the gateway for young people to again be filled with optimism and a sense of 
their future and to see that loneliness is just a fleeting experience that we all have to put up with at times. And here are some suggestions. Stay alert to lift the spirits of young people. No matter what your job or your age or where you live, there can be opportunities, whether it's to donate so that a young person gets a scholarship, whether it's to take some young people out for a meal, whether it's to help at a library in sorting books that they might enjoy, whatever it is, there are opportunities to lift their spirits and help them to move on with their lives rather than to stagnate with difficulties as a result of the pandemic. Even telling your own stories of how you grew up and how you managed to overcome difficulties can be greatly appreciated and lift the spirits of these young people. You can do it. We all have the abilities to lift other people's spirits and to give them good suggestions and or a hearty meal or a fun time. We just have to let go of some of our own inhibitions and realize that we can all be earth angels. We don't have to pass the buck to somebody else. We all can become these wonderful earth angels and make a better life for young people and certainly have some peace of mind and happiness that indeed you have done some work as an earth angel. I hope you will enjoy it. Bye for now.